New York City, it's PFLAG Parent Day 2022. Featuring Avi Roque, Big Frida, Busy Phillips, Cody Rigsby, George Takei, Harvey Guillen, Haley Kiyoko, Michael Semino, Jordan Roth and Richie Jackson, Katie Gavin of Muna, Larry Saperstein, Top Chef Melissa King, Stephen Canals, and Torian Miller. With musical performances by Madison Rose, Ramin Karamloo, and Jewel. And honoring five-time Emmy nominee and 2022 Tony Award nominee, Jesse Tyler Ferguson. And now, your host, Tony Award nominated star of Broadway's company, Matt Doyle. Hello, everyone. Welcome to PFLAG Parent Day, a celebration of the parents and parenting people who lead with love for LGBTQ plus people. I am so honored to be here with you today. The last few years have been really devastating for our community. From the work to pass federal non-discrimination protections to hundreds of bills in dozens of states preventing transgender and non-binary kids from accessing care or joining friends playing a team sport, to hundreds of book bans across every state, to the censorship of accurate and inclusive curriculum in classrooms. LGBTQ plus people are in a fight for our lives. And now more than ever, we need our families and allies with us. For nearly 50 years, PFLAGGers have risen to this challenge. So today we are here to celebrate the trusted adults who've been doing this important PFLAG work. We're also here to make sure that PFLAG National can continue the fight by raising $50,000 for their life-saving support, education, and advocacy. So please visit pflag.org slash parent day to make a donation now or text PFLAG to 41444 to donate and help us reach our goal. Now to kick things off, let's welcome a very funny man who'll soon be seen on Searchlight's Fire Island on Hulu, one of the most hotly anticipated movies of the summer. Welcome Torian Miller. Hi Matt. It's so great to join everyone in celebrating PFLAG Parent Day. Your movie, Fire Island, is a modern adaptation of Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice with a queer twist. With so many LGBTQ movies going mainstream, what does it say about the progress that's been made? I think what Fire Island adds to the conversation about the progress being made with so many queer movies and queer stories being greenlit and being told in cinema and TV is that audiences are ready for it. You know, I think for so long we would see movies um, that depicted queer identities as something as traumatic or coming out stories with a lot of trauma bonding. And Fire Island is a joyous queer story. And hopefully that just adds to the conversation of we need more of these to be greenlit and also to authentically cast queer people to be able to tell these stories. What does this kind of bold LGBTQ plus representation mean for you personally? Growing up, I really never saw people who looked like me or people who looked like our cast leading movies or TV, film, anything like that. Um, and when we talk about representation, I think that it is important to actually have people that represent how diverse this world is, how diverse this culture is and the queer community is. I also want to see more body diversity. So hopefully me being in this movie as one of the supporting leads, um, hopefully helps start the conversation on how representation matters. People want to see folks that look like them on our screens and being able to tell these stories authentically. And with so many queer POC being able to tell a joyous queer story, it is something that's so special and I really would love to see more of that happening in our industry. Can you tell me about one of the parenting people who showed up in your life and what that meant to you? One of the parenting people that showed up in my life early on was definitely not just one person, but it was pretty much all of my theater teachers. Theater was the place that I felt safe, the place that I felt I could be authentically myself, where it was cool to be weird, it was cool to be different. Um, 
if I wanted to sing, dance, you know, wear a wig, anything like that, that was actually celebrated in the theater. So to all the theater teachers out there, I see you and I thank you. You have really changed my life and you are changing the lives of the youth around us and especially queer POC because chosen family is so important and I do think of my theater people as my extended chosen family. So thank you to all the theater teachers out there who are uplifting the people that you're teaching. What do you want to say to all the parents and parenting people tuning in today? Having a solid support system makes such a difference and can truly save lives, so thank you for that. To PFLAG National, thank you so much for all the work you do to advocate for, strengthen, and celebrate the LGBTQ plus community. Torian, thanks for being here, and you can catch Searchlight's Fire Island when it premieres on Hulu. June 3rd. PFLAG was founded by a passionate New York City school teacher and mother, Jean Manford. When her son, legendary gay activist Morty Manford, was beaten by a New York City official, she decided she'd had enough. She first wrote a letter to the New York Post demanding dignity and respect for her son. Then she marched by his side at an early Pride March in June 1972 the first time a parent had publicly spoken out as an activist and ally. Less than a year later, in 1973, 20 LGBTQ people and their parents met together in a church basement in Greenwich Village, the first meeting of what is now known as PFLAG. There are millions of families around the world whose lives have been changed by PFLAG, and they now give back by leading with love, just as Jean Manford did 50 years ago. One of those people is Georgia PFLAG member, Chandra Claibon. She gives back as a facilitator for PFLAG Connects Communities, a program that provides safe virtual support spaces for black, Latino, and AAPI LGBTQ plus people and their families. My name is Chandra, and I am an out and proud lesbian. Um, I have a wife and three beautiful, wonderful children. And I am um, associated with two PFLAGs, PFLAG Johns Creek, as well as PFLAG Sandy Springs. I decided to volunteer with PFLAG because I wanted to give more back to uh, my community, the LGBTQIA plus community. I also saw that they had a teen group was really really awesome because I wanted to give back in that area because when I was growing up, I didn't have a safe space. Um, it was very hard for me to live authentically as myself because of all the religion rules in the South. So I wasn't able to really, you know, live out being a lesbian authentically until I got a lot older. I definitely saw myself in a lot of those teens um, in a sense of you know, them coming out and wanting to live authentically themselves. I also um, saw a lot of bravery that I didn't have uh, growing up. They taught me a lot about trans, which I didn't know a whole lot about. So it was, it was just an awesome experience. They taught me quite a bit. I can't speak for everyone in the African-American community, but it actually, uh, people at Connects, African American communities definitely open up a big door for us because we don't have a lot of spaces that are safe, um, especially in the LGBTQ plus community. So being able to have an African American support group that actually supports us specifically uh, brings a lot of value. So learning that and learning what a chosen family looks like, that actually helped a whole lot on my journey with leaving people behind. <laughs> like, if you're not accepting who I am, then, you know, I'm moving forward here. Live authentically. Be who you are. Don't be afraid to show who you are. And if other people are not comfortable with it, then it's their problem, not yours. To support PFLAG Connects communities and other critical PFLAG programs, please text PFLAG to 41444 to donate or visit pflag.org slash parent day to make a gift and help us reach our goal. Now, here with a message of love for PFLAG parenting people, welcome Peloton's Cody Rigsby. What's up PFLAG community? It is Cody Rigsby from Peloton and I am so excited and so honored to be celebrating the second annual PFLAG parent day with you. I need you to know that if you're a parent, no matter if it is by choice, by blood, by adoption, by foster care, 
your actions matter and your love and your affirmation is what is saving LGBTQ plus lives. I know that growing up, my mom, Cindy, was super affirming. And a little, little known fact is that one of the first people to cut my hair was a transgender woman by the name of Pat. She was also a really close friend of my mom's. And I might have not known it at that very young age, but it was relationships like that. It was bringing people into my life that were different, that were queer, that showed me that when I was time to, when it was time for me to come out, that it was gonna be okay, that my mom was gonna be there supporting me and that I could live my authenticity and my truth. So keep doing what you're doing. And as PFLAG says, let's lead with love. Happy PFLAG Parent Day. Bye, booze. Now don't forget, you can easily make a gift to PFLAG National anytime in support of our $50,000 PFLAG Parent Day goal by texting PFLAG, that's P-F-L-A-G, to 41444 or by visiting pflag.org slash parent day. I'm really excited for our next guest. This authentic, independent, and self-proclaimed rainbow girl against a storm cloud world drops her debut album, Technicolor, on May 27th. Please welcome Madison Rose. Thank you, Madison. I can't wait for that album. 
Florida has passed harmful legislation over the last several years. Most recently, the so-called Don't Say Gay or Trans Bill, which prevents honest, accurate, and inclusive curriculum and discussion in the classroom. From preventing kids with same-sex parents from talking about their families in class, to a bisexual teacher with a same-sex partner not being able to share her own family tree project with students, this law has real-world consequences. Hi, my name is Faith Moeller. I am the PFLAG chapter president in Riverview, Florida. I am also one of the co-founders and the proud mom of four children. Two of them are LGBTQ. When my child first came out, um, at first I was relieved that they were brave enough to um, tell me. She was a great student and all of a sudden she wasn't a great student and she was acting out in class. And it gave me an answer as to why her behavior had changed so much. Our life was spent at church. Uh, most of our life, three days a week, uh, I would say that we were there. I was on staff at the church at the time. She was the worship leader, even at 13 years old, um, for the youth group and a lot of times on an adult platform. It caused a lot of fear and I knew that this was not gonna be the safe place for her to be on this journey of figuring out who she is what prompted me to want to start my own chapter here in PFLAG Riverview is because there weren't any resources, there weren't any safe places in our area. We had our first meeting at the very beginning of March 2020, and we had about 25 people there. There was a couple that we all fell in love with, Mari and Drew. I originally came to PFLAG Tampa in 2015 when my husband came out as a trans man. We actually found PFLAG to try and be like a bridge between us and his family who was not supportive at all. So as soon as I saw that Faith was bringing PFLAG to Riverview, I immediately was all about any way I could try and be involved. We went to the very first meeting and we got to actually meet Faith and a couple of the other members in person. It was magnetic almost. It was the next weekend, the whole world shut down. We all were told that we all had to stay in our homes. The day that we were supposed to have our first Zoom meeting that evening, I got a call at 7.30 in the morning from a very distraught Mari. Um, she had just had a knock on her door from the police telling her that her husband Drew had taken his own life. Faith jumped and was a part of everything that had to do with everything from the time that I called her and told her that my husband had passed away, whether it was support in somebody to talk to, whether it was trying to keep me on track. Somebody in PFLAG has had a hand in trying to make me feel like I was not alone or isolated or doing any of this by myself. The unwavering support from that day has been incredible. Um, from that day, mental health became a huge issue. So we knew that getting together as often as we could was the answer. I am as surprised as anybody else that we um, grew so quickly. The fact that PFLAG National saw the need and immediately figured out how can they give us the resources. They also promoted um, PFLAG Connects. And I think it's just the, the best word uh, to describe what we do is we offer an opportunity and a platform for us to connect in a safe place. My favorite thing to tell people is never be ashamed of who you are. Never be ashamed of who you love. Be all of who you were created to be. And if you don't have those kind of people in your life, get a new tribe. The world will catch up. And until then, PFLAG is here for you. PFLAG means family. Friendship. Community. Respect. PFLAG is love. Thank you to all of the parents, friends, and families who are members of PFLAG. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for all of the incredible work that you're doing, all that you've done, and all that you will continue to do. I know now more than ever, an organization like PFLAG is so important where our lives are consistently being 
legislated and litigated, it is so critically important to have an intervention like PFLAG, a place where parents, friends, and family know that they can go to support one another and to learn all of the incredible resources that they can utilize as allies to support LGBTQ plus individuals. And so I thank you from the bottom of my heart for all that you are doing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you to everyone who has supported PFLAG with a donation for PFLAG Parent Day. If you haven't yet made a donation, now is the time. Text PFLAG, that's P-F-L-A-G, to 41444, or by visiting pflag.org slash parentday. I'm guessing many of you tuned in today because you might have heard we've got a sneak peek of the upcoming third and final season of Hulu's Love, Victor. Well, we won't keep you waiting anymore. Let's take a look at this exclusive first clip. <coughs> Whoa. Uh, wow. Okay, wh why do you look so beautiful? I'm just picking up my outfit from my first P-Flag meeting. But that's not till Friday. Yeah, I know, but I outfit plan when I'm nervous. It's called stress dressing, it's a real thing. <laughs> Key flag is just a bunch of parents going through the same thing we are. We have nothing to be worried about. Oh, actually, I think I do. What are these people gonna think of me? You've been going to these meetings for months, learning how to support our son, and now all of a sudden I'm gonna walk in and they're gonna be like, oh look, there's the one who took forever to get on board. <laughs> Nobody's gonna judge. I promise. Hmm. Mm. You're new. Would you like to share your story? Uh, no, that's okay. You know what, I was nervous at first too, but it's not that bad. Okay, you wanna hear my story, Teresa? Um, I am a terrible, horrible mother. It took me way too long to accept my son when he came out, I'm not talking 30 seconds. I'm talking months, months of me judging him, of me not accepting him for who he is. Uh, we had an unbreakable bond and I broke it. Um, I'm Isabel. It's so nice to meet you. I am so happy to be joined now by the star of Love, Victor, Michael Cimino. Welcome to PFLAG Parent Day. Michael, on the show Your Mom, played by the wonderful Anna Ortiz, took longer to go to a PFLAG meeting. What does it mean to Victor to finally have support from both his parents? Um, well, first off, hi, everyone. Thank you for having me. Um, secondly, I mean, I, I feel like any kid, obviously, they, they want their parents to be on their side and support them through anything that they do. And obviously, with a kid that is part of the LGBT community, who faces so many more challenges and, and so many different adversities, they, they need somebody that is on their team, especially like their parents, because your parents are supposed to be your biggest cheerleaders. And so obviously it means the world to them. Absolutely. Uh, Michael, how does it feel coming to the end of the Salazar family story with season three? Coming to, to, to an end is, is definitely tough. I mean, it's, it's been an amazing show and I've loved every single part of it. And I love the people that I work with. It, it was just an amazing experience overall. And also to know that this show is making a difference in people's lives is just it's insane. It's been a beautiful journey and you get to take that family with you. I'm sure that is so, so profound. Um, what do you want to say to all the parents and parenting people tuning in today? Well, I just want to say that thank you all so much for trying for your kids. I mean, any kid wants their parents to support them, whether it's like in a professional sense or if it's, if it's in a, an emotional sense or if it's supporting their sexual orientation and their gender identity. This is a huge part of their lives and they face so much adversity just because of who they are or, or, or who they like. So knowing that they always have a place that they can call home and a place where they can call and people that they can call and get advice from and just that will be there for them, I can guarantee you means the world. And even you guys going to PFLAG and trying means so much to them. So. Definitely don't give up on your kids and, and keep trying. I couldn't agree with you more. Michael, thank you so much for being here. And be sure to catch the final season of Love, Victor streaming on Hulu beginning June 15th.
Thank you, Michael. Don't forget, PFLAG's work is making a difference in real-life families like the Salazars in every state across the country. Your support makes that work possible, so please make a gift of any size by texting PFLAG to 41444 or by visiting pflag.org slash parent day. Now please join me in welcoming the president of the PFLAG National Board, Kathy Godwin. Hello, it's so wonderful to be with you today for PFLAG Parent Day, as we celebrate all of the parenting people who are fighting to create a caring, just, and affirming world for LGBTQ plus people and those who love them. PFLAG was founded by one mom, Jean Manford, who united with her gay son in support of their common goal of securing his full civil rights under the law. All of the parenting people we are here celebrating today are following closely in Jean's footsteps. It's fitting that this year's PFLAG Parent Day falls on Harvey Milk Day. Because 10 years ago, Harvey's nephew Stuart marked this day noting that his uncle believed that our potential is only reached when full diversity of all those that make up our communities is celebrated. Well, today is most definitely a celebration of the wonderful diversity of parenting people who are showing up every day as activists and advocates, allies and accomplices, and who always lead with love. Thank you all for being here, for taking up the cause started by Jean Manford 49 years ago, for supporting our programs with your generous donations, and for always leading with love. Thank you, Kathy, for all that you do to make the world a more equitable and inclusive place. Now here to sing us some words from the heart, please welcome from the band MUNA, Katie Garvin. Hi, PFLAG, this is Katie from MUNA, and I just wanted to say thank you so much for all the work that you do. Um, I wanted to share with you a song that um, I started writing a couple weeks ago, and it just felt like something that was on my heart that I um, wanted to, to share with this org. So uh, I think it's called Flower Patch. <laughs> and thank you to every parent who is loving their child in the LGBTQ community. Um, I truly believe that is the way that we heal. So thank you so much. Earlier, we met the Salazars, the fictional family from Hulu's Love, Victor. And like the Salazars, the Medinas, a real family in Los Angeles, faced a similar journey to support their son when he came out. PFLAG and Espanol meetings changed their lives and so many others for the better. PFLAG es la primera y la más grande organización dedicada a apoyar a familias LGBTQ. 
PFLAG en español empezó como un satélite de PFLAG de Los Ángeles. Nosotros sabemos que el apoyo familiar es imprescindible, especialmente para la comunidad LGBTQ. Con el amor de mamá y papá, se salvan vidas. Cada reunión de PFLAG es un evento especial porque es un sitio donde una mamá y un papá sale del closet a un cuarto lleno de personas como ellos. Después de dos horas, cuando salen sonrientes, con esperanza y prometiendo que van a volver la siguiente semana, eso, eso sucede en cada una de las reuniones. Watching PFLAG in action is a powerful reminder that leading with love in support, education, and advocacy absolutely changes lives. Your support makes that work possible. So please, make a contribution in whatever size is personally meaningful to you. Text PFLAG to 41444 or visit pflag.org slash parent day to make your gift today. My next guest is a Latina, trans, non-binary, queer actor who voices the character Rain Whispers on Disney-branded television's animated series, The Owl House. Please welcome Avi Roque. I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> Avi, thanks for being here. Uh, fans of The Owl House are eagerly awaiting the next season. Why do you think this show has such a loyal fan base, especially LGBTQ plus people of all ages? Honestly, it's the representation. I think I always go to that. And the main thing is how normalized the representation is. We see all skin shades, colors. We're seeing all sorts of uh, gen gender identities, even sexualities. And I think it's what young people want and are craving is to see a reflection of them in the media. So that's why I think it's such a important show. Absolutely. I know when I was a kid, I craved seeing so much diversity on TV and there was a lack of it. And it's incredible that it's there now. So much of the Owl House is centered around the main character, Luz, finding the place and community of people where she belongs. How important is this kind of found or chosen family to LGBTQ plus people. Mm, yeah, literally when you said that, I was like chosen family. That's such a huge narrative in the queer community in the LGBTQI plus community, because oftentimes we're not always given the support and love and affirmation that we need and that we deserve. And when you find a community, when you find people that value you, respect you, love you, then you are getting those needs met. <laughs> and it's a give and take too. So it's like, you're all helping each other out. And to me, that that is what family is about, is being there for each other, no matter what, and not judging, <laughs> and uh, just really being in full support of who you are. I get emotional hearing you talk about it because I know how much my chosen family means to me and what they've done for me and how they've lifted me up. Um, the Owl House has had authentic canon representation throughout the entire series. What does that kind of visibility mean for you personally? It means the world to me uh, to be able to be my full authentic self and be in a role that also is not about being trans, non-binary, or using they, them pronouns. Like this character and this has, has depth, has a personality, has like romantic love, you know, friendship, 
relationships. It's, it means so much to me. And this is the, these are the kind of roles that I want to be doing on camera, TV, film. We're getting there. Uh, but there's something about the animated world that feels a little bit more expansive or forgiving in that sense of being able to really go there. And yeah, so it, it means so much to me. And also because I feel like I am someone that is giving back to others is something that I wish I had as well. And that kind of representation and that visibility. So that also like warms my heart. And I, yeah, I've, I'm so grateful. Amazing, that's incredible. Avi, before we let you go, what message of love and support do you have for the parenting people we're here celebrating today? Oh, you know, it was interesting. Uh, one of my uh, castmates from, from the show who is, a, who is a parent and is a mother uh, has a, a, young, a young child who is starting to be more articulate about who they are and like how they want to dress and, and pronouns and having that conversation. And she had reached out to me about like, hey, I said, yes, I love that. Awesome. So yes, give your child that affirmation and take their lead. I think we have to give our young people more credit um, and really just yes anding <laughs> and being there for the journey and for the ride. And yeah, that's my advice. <laughs> Thank you so, so much for being here. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. Mwah. Hey, I'm Larry Saperstein, and in honor of PFLAG Parent Day, I am so excited to be able to be here to celebrate all of the parents and parenting people who are showing up for their LGBTQ plus kids, especially during the past year, which was incredibly difficult for all LGBTQ plus kids, but especially for trans and non-binary kids. All kids, no matter their race, their gender, their sexual orientation, deserve to be in a loving environment where they are free to be themselves. When I was growing up, I was fortunate enough to have a loving support system of adults, both with my parents at home and teachers at school, especially in my music and arts programs, who encouraged me to discover my love of music and art and performance and encouraged me to discover myself and to be my true self. For all of us LGBTQ plus kids, the love and support that we feel from our communities at a young age makes significant improvements to our development and helps save lives. I celebrate all of the parents and parenting people who are showing up for their LGBTQ plus children, including moms, dads, LGBTQ plus parents, transgender and non-binary parents, parents by blood, foster care, adoption, chosen family, teachers, and healthcare workers. Your love and affirmation truly makes a difference in young queer lives. Happy PFLAG Parent Day. Thanks so much, Larry. I'm truly excited for this next performer. Here, fresh from Broadway's Funny Girl, please welcome Tony nominee, Ramin Karamlu. Early each day to the steps of St. Paul's the little old bird woman comes in her own special way to the people she calls come by my bag full of crumbs come feed the little birds show them you care and you'll be glad if you do Young ones are hungry, the nests are so bare. All it takes is toppings from you. Feed the birds, toppings a bag, toppings, toppings, toppings a bag. Birds, that's what she cries. 
trees while overhead the birds fill the sky all around the cathedrals the saints and apostles look down as she sells her wares although you can't see it you know they are smiling each time someone shows that he cares Though her words are simple and few Listen, listen, she's calling to you Feed the birds, tuppence a bag Tuppence, tuppence up in so bag simple and few listen listen she's calling to you oh, feed the birds top in bag top Toppins a bag. Ooh. Ooh. Listen. Listen, listen, Ramin. Thank you so much. Just beautiful. My friends, your support makes PFLAG's work possible, so please make a gift of any size by texting PFLAG to 41444 or by visiting pflag.org slash parent day. Now with some words of love, here are Jordan Roth and Richie Jackson. Hi friends, I'm Jordan Roth. And I'm Richie Jackson. And we're so thrilled to be with you for PFLAG Parent Day. The love and support that you offer to the LGBTQ kids that you parent matters so much to them and to all of us, to our whole world that you raise up. And by loving them, you're raising them to be loving adults, literally multiplying love. Mm -hmm. And for that, we are very grateful. Busy Phillips is an incredible actress and advocate who can currently be seen on Peacock's Girls 5 Eva. But her most important and personal role is mom to her child, Birdie. You want your children to be happy. You want them to be fulfilled. You want them to have all of the things in life. But at its very core, like you want them to live. My name is Busy Phillips. I've been an actor my whole life. I'm a writer. I am a mother and an activist. My own baby, who's now almost 14, is queer and non-binary. This is LGBTQ Nation's Authentic Voices of Pride, presented by Chevrolet. Some of my first memories of hearing about the gay community was the AIDS epidemic and ACT UP. My mother, her best friend from high school, died of AIDS in the early 80s. It was always a thing that was talked about in a way that was 
like there was nothing unusual about it. I have many friends who are gay and trans and that was just a thing that was in our home. And then also my <laughs> kids were born in Los Angeles, Birdie is like precocious and was preternaturally verbal. Birdie asked a lot of questions and we just always tried to meet the kid with as honest of an answer as we had. And then would ask them back, like, do you get it? Birdie's always just been so uniquely themselves. Birdie came out when they were 10. It was really sweet because Birdie said, there's a word that I am, I know what the word is. And I was like, oh my gosh, you have a word? That's so great, what's the word? And Birdie said, gay. And I was like, well, that's a great word, I love it. They felt like a big relief from it. And then Birdie's like identity as non-binary, they, them pronouns, that came a couple years later. They said, you know, I really feel like this and I'm non-binary and I would like my pronouns to be they, them. And I'm like, okay, that sounds great. And I have to say like, I just was less aware of non-binary, what exactly it meant. The pronoun thing was tricky. And I think that the, the moment of growth for me was, was the self-education. Like I gotta figure this out on my own and I have to do research and I have to read books and take in what it means and also challenge myself and my own ideas about what gender is. If you feel like your outside doesn't match your inside, it can be a real mind trip, you know, for anyone, any human, especially like a young person who's trans or non-binary. So the pronouns thing is like such a no brainer to me. And it's also like everyone should just practice. We can all do better. You have to actively talk to people about and change hearts and minds or whatever. Like you have to really continually have conversations with people about how we all deserve to like live the life we wanna live and raise our kids, keep them alive <laughs> and raise them to be the best versions of themselves that they can be. My message to LGBTQIA trans kids, you're loved and you're deserving of love and deserving of living a life that is yours and that reflects who you are. Like, I wanna know who you are. I don't wanna know what society wants to put on you. It's not for me to tell you who you are or anyone. You get to decide that. Please consider supporting PFLAG National of the Nation's first and largest organization supporting LGBTQIA plus youth, their families, and allies. You can see more with Busy Phillips and other incredible parents of LGBTQ plus kids in LGBTQ Nation's Authentic Voices of Pride series presented by Chevrolet at LGBTQNation.com. Supporting families like Busy's with transgender and non-binary kids has been a critical piece of PFLAG's work for decades. Your support makes that work possible, so please give a gift of any size by texting PFLAG to 41444 or by visiting pflag.org slash parent day. Mandy Giles and her family are a lot like Busy Phillips's family. Like so many people, Mandy first came to PFLAG for support and education and has now turned to bold, out loud advocacy, a critical need as the mom of two transgender, non-binary kids living in Texas. I am Mandy Giles and I'm from Houston, Texas. I am the PFLAG Houston chapter president. I have three kids, two of whom are transgender, non-binary. Indigo and Mars are both 20 years old. When my kids first came out, um, I felt a, a roller coaster of emotions. There was a lot of fear and doubt and grief. PFLAG really helped me know that those emotions are normal and that it was important to do that processing away from my kids. PFLAG helped me understand that I was grieving the loss of my expectations for my child. Um, I think all parents have expectations for their children, whether they realize it or not. My children came out to us um, each a few times um, as they were discovering different parts of their identities. 
And at first it was a little confusing for me um, because the, the way they were defining themselves was changing. Through PFLAG, I learned that is normal and that just because the, the words that they use to describe themselves may change, it doesn't mean that who they are inside has changed. One of my children received gender affirming care before they were 18. After that care, my child said that they felt like their body was their own for the first time. When the first anti-trans came up in the um, 2021 Texas legislative session, with the help of our PFLAG Houston chapter, I was hooked up with some advocacy groups who literally held my hand and showed me how to testify. It showed me a side of parenting trans kids that I didn't expect. Uh, there was a lot of hateful language, hateful language toward my children, toward me. And as a parent, just hearing those things kind of fuels my fire and makes me realize I need to fight harder. And it makes me want to protect my children. So PFLAG helped me move through those emotions so that I could support my kids the best that I could. It's a beautiful, miraculous thing to watch my children and then see other transgender kids realize who they are and live fully into themselves and live truly, truly authentically. That has been an incredible, incredible joy to watch their joy. In honor of PFLAG Parents Day, I'm excited to be here to celebrate all of the parenting people who are showing up for the LGBTQ folks, especially during this past difficult year. For the LGBT kids, especially trans and non-binary kids, all kids, no matter their race, gender, or sexual orientation, should be free to be themselves. With the midterm primary season underway, it's critical that we all raise our voices by casting our votes in every election. New Orleans-based hip-hop artist, worldwide ambassador of bounce music, and PFLAG friend, Big Frida, has a really important message for all of us about leading with love right to the ballot box. Hey y'all, it's Big Frida the Queen Diva. And what I love so much about PFLAG is, no matter where you live, you can count on PFLAG, families and allies to show up for the LGBTQ plus people and lead with love. That's why this election season, I'm asking you to join me and PFLAG to lead with love, right to the ballot box. Lawmakers are working overtime to pass bills that remove education and health rights from the LGBTQ plus kids, including kids who are transgender or non-binary. They are also trying to make it harder to vote. The thing is, these ugly tactics are old. They're tied, and because it's election year, we can use our love and our votes to put a stop to them. So take action with me and PFLAG by registering to vote. Then mark your calendar and cast your ballot at every election, every time. This message is approved by the Queen Diva. Thank you so much for your support. Let's all listen to Big Frida and remember to vote in every election, every time. Our next guest is best known as the winner of Bravo's Top Chef All-Stars Los Angeles Season 17 and the winner of All-Stars Fan Favorite. As a proud Asian American and queer woman, she has a passion for supporting the community, donating 100% of her $10,000 fan favorite prize to LGBTQ plus nonprofits. Please welcome to PFLAG Parent Day, Chef Melissa King. Melissa, great to have you here. I have to ask you about your recent experience as a chef at the world-renowned Met Gala. As a Chinese American queer chef, what did that kind of visibility mean to you? It meant so much. It really meant everything to be able to show up um, in such a public place and just be authentically me and not even just me as an Asian queer woman in the world, but also to support the community by, um, you know, through the, the, the outfit itself and the designer that I was wearing, you know, supporting a queer designer, but also showing up with, you know, this sort of Chinese, uh, traditional Chinese empress jewelry um, from my culture. And so I think just through even just the storytelling 
um, through the outfit, I felt just so proud to be able to uh, represent and support the community where I could. That's amazing. I love that you not only told a story through what you were wearing, but you also supported a queer designer as well. That's incredible. You have spent so much time giving back to the community through your work. Why is that so important to you? I just have always felt that it's important to give back and pay it forward where you can. Um, so I think everything that I do from projects to virtual cooking classes, I always try to find ways to support the community because that was the community that supported me you know, throughout uh, my life. And so to be able to give back and hopefully make some change where I can, even if it's a small amount of change in any possible way, I will try to do that. Well, you're definitely a role model in terms of giving back. I, I look up to it a lot. Um, you have an incredible story and your career has just skyrocketed over the years. What did the support of family and allies mean to you in your own life? It means so much because I think without my without the support of my family, my friends, my chosen family, I think um, I wouldn't be where I am today. I wouldn't might not even be around, you know, I think um, being able to have that love and support is the number one thing um, that keeps people um, moving and, and keeps keeps them feeling free and liberated. Absolutely. Chosen family has been a big part of the conversation today, too. Uh, what would you say to families who are hoping to support their own queer kids and might be struggling? Yeah, I think listening is always important. Um, you know, listen to your child and listen to um, just who they are and let them be 100% them. Um, I think a lot of it is it's about acceptance. And if they can't find acceptance through their own family members, um, you know, there's not much there for them. They, there's There can be a loss of hope. And so I think um, trying to be as supportive as possible and being open-minded to listening to your child is probably a good place to start. Um, but yeah, if I think just the acceptance of, of the people closest to you um, is what's really going to make an impact on that person's life. Absolutely. I know the second I felt accepted by my family, that's when I almost felt whole. Melissa, thank you so much. It is so great to have you here today. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much for having me. Our next guest is an actor, a social justice activist, a social media mega power, and a New York Times bestselling author. He is best known for his portrayal of Mr. Sulu in the acclaimed television and film series, Star Trek. Here to present the Betty DeGeneres Advocate Award, an award he himself received from PFLAG National in 2019, please welcome George Takei. The Betty DeGeneres Advocate Award honors a person who uses their visibility to help advance PFLAG's work. The award pays tribute to those who provide support, education, and advocacy in service of an inclusive, equitable, safe, and loving world for LGBTQ plus people and their families. The award is named in honor of Betty DeGeneres, a longtime member of PFLAG and the mother of Ellen DeGeneres. Betty has used her public visibility to educate about the vital role parents, families, and allies play in the lives of LGBTQ plus people. In 2019, I was honored to receive the Betty DeGeneres Advocate Award from PFLAG National. Today, I'm proud to present the award to Jesse Tyler Ferguson. Jesse and his husband, Justin Mikita, founded Tie the Knot in 2012. Tie the Knot has raised more than $1.5 million for impactful LGBTQ plus organizations. It became Pronoun in 2021. Pronoun continues working against LGBTQ oppression. It fights for out trans and non-binary loved ones under legislative attack. Pronoun shines a spotlight on the murders of trans women of color 
and the need to pass the Federal Equality Act in Congress. From his iconic role on Modern Family to leading the new Broadway smash hit, Take Me Out, Jesse has brought critical visibility to LGBTQ characters throughout his career. Millions of people have been inspired by Jesse's personal example to live their lives authentically and proudly. Jesse is an advocate in every sense of the word. I'm proud to welcome him to accept the Betty DeGeneres Advocate Award. Congratulations, Jesse. Thank you so much, George. What an honor. Um, I want to start by thanking PFLAG National for inviting me to be a part of this very special day. I'm grateful to be included mostly as it gives me the opportunity to thank the whole PFLAG family for all the work that they do every day to make uh, a better, more equitable world for LGBTQ plus youth and their families. Uh, this moment has me thinking about what advocacy actually means. And for me, it means living my life authentically surrounding myself with family and friends who lift me up, and as an artist, letting that light shine through everything I do. I feel very fortunate that I've been given the opportunity to bring visibility to LGBTQ plus characters that in their own lives feel seen and heard and loved, which is not always the case in real life for LGBTQ plus people and their loved ones, especially right now as legislators attempt to turn the clock back on decades of progress. Um, that's what makes PFLAG's work today as vital as it was when they first began nearly five decades ago. They give voice to the voiceless, speak truth to power, and create safe, welcoming spaces for LGBTQ plus youth and their loved ones. And that's just for starters. And I'm especially happy to be honored during PFLAG Parent Day as a relatively new parent myself it's more important to me than ever to be a part of the community that builds a better world for the next generation and that supports the generations past, present, and future who have fought and continue to fight for our rights in every sense of the word. I want to dedicate this award to all the PFLAG parenting people watching. Your care and your commitment to affirming the lives and the dignity of so many young people who are so desperately in need of your encouragement, support, and love is truly inspiring. Thank you so much. I share this too with my family, friends, and everyone who supported and continues to support me. If I have even an ounce of the courage and the conviction needed to be a true advocate, it is only because of those and so many people who have advocated for me. So thank you. I celebrate my awesome LGBTQ plus community and everything I do. And it is so important to thank and honor all the parenting people who show up for us every day. Your love and support means the world to your LGBTQ loved ones. I wanna thank my parents for loving me unconditionally. We've had our own journey and though sometimes it's been hard, we've come out stronger. And my dad actually just made a cameo in my new music video and single for the girls. So you definitely have to check that out. Uh, thank you again, P Flag National for having me and thank you to all the parenting people out there. I love you all so much. Happy P Flag Parent Day. Mwah. Bye. Haley, thank you so much. We are coming to the end of our show, but you can continue to make your gifts to support PFLAG's vital work anytime. Text PFLAG to 41444 or visit pflag.org slash parent day. For our final performance of the evening, singing Grateful off of her new album, Freewheelin' Woman, here's Jewel. <laughs> Can't find my song when darkness is all I see. There is a remedy, it's all the little things that make the world go round, it's all the little things that are most powerful. There's no politician, no sky to die. No one can take the love from my heart, and the sun gonna shine. 
mine In this heart of mine The sun ain't gonna shine In this heart of mine The sun gonna shine Ooh, it's true Cause I can always be grateful In the loudest sound it's your own life crashing down And when your friends, when your friends they don't come around There's one true thing I found It's all the little things, the bells that ring The green, green grass and the birds that sing I'm gonna choose the bright side to see And no one, no one can take that from me Cause the sun gonna shine in this heart of mine Sun gonna shine in this heart of mine The sun gonna show who it's wrong So bring it on, bring it on, bring it on, bring it on now. Bring it on, 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 bring it on now. I'm singing on, singing on, I'm singing on now. I'm singing on, I'm singing on, singing on. Cause the sun gonna shine in this heart of mine. The sun in this heart of mine So I'm gonna show who It's true Cause I can always be What a treat. Thank you to Jewel and thank you to all of our guests and performers today. Well, we have come to the end of another incredible PFLAG Parent Day. Remember, we're here supporting PFLAG's work and it's never too late to make a gift. Please consider texting PFLAG to 41444 or make your donation by visiting pflag.org slash parent day. I want to take a moment on behalf of PFLAG National to thank Marriott International, Sardi's Restaurant, and the Walt Disney Company for their support of PFLAG Parent Day. And to all of you who joined us today to watch, enjoy, and support PFLAG, thank you. This work does not happen without you. Thanks for being with us, and happy PFLAG Parent Day. Every PFLAG meeting, I get hope from seeing people from Little kids all the way up to grandparents who express love and support for each other. PFLAG has allowed me to learn more about myself and has allowed me to find a group of people who are loving and caring. To feel the love um, and be embraced by like-minded people. I've learned to respect people, to understand them, and have compassion. PFLAG has allowed me to have a safe place that I feel I can be myself and talk about my family. What PFLAG has given us is stronger advocacy and made us better allies for our community.